Yo, what's going on, Madden community? Collision Works here with our first gameplay of the year, boys. Now, earlier in the day, we were able to get out that pack opening video. That's not really something we do too much on the channel, but I wanted you guys to have a reference of what we're going to be using in these first few gameplay videos and uh, kind of, you know, tell you guys what we're doing to start the year as we are sending some pressure here to 4 3 Bear. Not the best blitz. It's uh, one thing I've noticed this year with blitzing so far is it seems like the best way to get pressure is out of like at least what I've found so far is pretty weak formations. So as we get a pretty good dump off here to our fullback, but I've noticed it's a lot of like real heavy sets that aren't always necessarily good for the pass. So you're really praying that you get to pressure or you get your pressure in time. So still trying to figure out, you know, what we should be running for defense. I'm trying to explore some of the nickel two, four, five out of the uh, Jaguars playbook as we give up a huge pass here to Tony as our opponent is starting off a real strong drive for himself um we've been streaming these games live on the youtube uh so if you guys are interested all the uh, playbacks are on the uh, live tab on the channel so feel free to check it out we do some uh some coaching as well um so you know if you guys want to you can check those out our opponent's looking deep down the seam here to isaiah likely i feel like this one should have been broken up but still a good read by the opponent as we are coming out in strong close i want to get a guide out soon for the strong close it's something i drop every single year and uh honestly dude this year it seems so much better madden 22 and madden 23 it was okay it was mainly a passing attack offense run kind of struggled with it and uh this year with just how well the run is dominating as irv smith just releases a relentless stiff arm against the safety or corner there and uh yeah, strong close is, is very, very strong so far. The run is very, very good. Uh, we're doing this out of the Jets playbook, but I'm thinking about trying out the running gun offense. Um, I made some videos in the past breaking down the strong closest passing attack. A lot of those setups are still very viable in this year's game, but I still want to go over probably a new guide regarding it just so, you know, we, we can see the gameplay in a fresh palette and get a you know closer look at what to expect as we come out with FL Drive. Uh, out of strong close I, I love using that deep post on the uh far side of the field whenever i see opponents using the safeties real good uh play especially just because it's it's a real west coast style of throwing so we're always kind of looking short to medium and so to be able to sneak in a, a deep passing attack it, it's really really good for the offense and this year just really seems better than ever so yeah it's nice when def when defenders are bringing down their safeties and things like that just because of how good the run is to be able to have a you know a deep passing attack as Tony just gets absolutely smacked by Harrison Smith <laughs> on the deep crosser. This guy had a pretty uh pretty good run game out of uh the trips offset he was running, but he runs it there on fourth and seven. Pretty questionable. I think he wanted to try and get me an A at pass commit and try and get an easy first down, but we had it in mind, so we went ahead and kept it as we're rolling out here with Lamar Jackson. Uh, mobile QBs so far this year are just so good. Uh, Lamar's accuracy isn't the best, and it is extremely noticeable when you kind of get to the medium range. But as we can just deliver a dot here to Kittle on the deep post, uh, such a good route running with the tight ends on these posts. Um, this wide receiver post has a uh, post on the tight end that comes along with like Hot Route Master and Tight End Apprentice. So really good man beating route as long as you have some speed even if you don't have route running abilities really really good so as we're going here to game two against the saints as we somehow missed the hit stick but able to wrap him up still a good run this guy had a really good run game with jonathan taylor i think this guy bought the um i think he bought two of like the uh pre-made teams for offense and defense so that's pretty cool nice to know that some people are finding it beneficial as i get a just a garbage pi i didn't I didn't think I did too much roughing on the tight end there, but he has a great opening drive to the game as he dumps it off to his tight end for RMU. I see everybody using this guy. I haven't even looked at the card. He must be a fairly good budget beast as we're just dumping it off to Irv Smith again. I've noticed flat zones don't really play too well this year on the outside. I see like a lot of you know cloud corners playing pretty soft, so uh, probably going to have to do some zone depth adjustments this year, but in the meantime, I'm taking advantage of it, trying to hit underneath as we're looking deep up top for Cup and you see that accuracy coming into play but with how strong mobile qbs are it's really a it's it's a price i'm willing to pay at times just because of how quickly we can evade as we hit our deep comeback route inside the seam there with tony so we come out in y trail here really have nowhere to go so i roll out again we have so much speed against the defender and i just chunk this one get our feet set beautiful throw here to cooper cup and we just drop down because we kind of we got lucky enough i don't want to push 
push my limits as we hand it off up the gut to Khalil Herbert. It's been a great card for me, really good carrying on this card. Haven't fumbled yet. We've done about five games, so he's uh, he's been really good. We do a little play action here, so scissors and miss our target, but that's all right. Second down here, dropping back, looking deep. X is covered, and we actually hit him with the high point pass here with the fullback. So high balls definitely aren't as strong as they were last year, but you know at times it can still be extremely effective. So you know against linebackers, linebackers I think do jump a little better this year, but uh, still sometimes I'm gonna I'm gonna take that high ball if I can against a linebacker. As he's actually looking underneath here to his running back on the drag. Great play call. I pretty much put all my coverages up top just to try and stop the verticals he was running as he hands it off on the stretch here out of eye form close. Uh, pretty sure he was in the Packers playbook just uh, by what he was running. It was pretty similar to the Jets, just with a few changes in the eye form. So pretty sure he's running Packers. Really good playbook this year. I'm in Jets for this video as we get an interception here, but as you see, I run into the tight end. That kind of screwed the whole play up. So he's able to get a fresh set of downs. We try and blitz here, pressure all in his face, and he's just able to deliver an absolute dime to Tony. The under pressures are kind of ass so far in this game, but it just, you know, comes with the territory with not having abilities. So, you know, we'll uh, just play through it as we get 30 seconds here before half. Coming out in this, uh, I think this is one of the new four formations of bunch uh, strong, so, uh, a few new plays in here. Just a really good offense, though, as we have wide trail here. These tight end uh, Texas routes, extremely effective against man, especially early in the year. And we come out here in corner strike, hit Kittle underneath in the flat, walks right in right before half. I go ahead and cut the uh, little drive he has before halftime. He didn't get anything there. And as you see here with Tony, we're barely even holding right trigger. We get to the edge, hold right trigger. Uh, kickoffs are corny as hell this year. <laughs> They're really, really good. Um, I hope that this does get tuned. I think I've had three uh, kick returns so far in five games. It's a little corny, but still, I'll take the points if I can get it as we come back here to cover the late dig as I start emoting on this guy. He did something early in the game that made me <laughs> act like a dick. So, of course, we had to we had to get it back to him. As you see here, I'm just kind of editing through this game. The back end of this match does get a little sloppy, so I thought we'll just go ahead and chop it up. But, gentlemen, that is going to be it for the gameplay. We're going to be live again probably tomorrow morning on the YouTube. Uh, probably going to do some gameplays and then do a live lab session. Uh, I want to try and get some more live labs in so you guys can be a part of it and see what I'm looking at just so we can kind of make a playbook together and then I'll make our own videos of it so you guys can kind of have a full... Um, you know, sheet of what you're looking at uh, while we're making the plays. And then you kind of have your own little playbook in a short video. So hope you boys enjoyed. I'll see you guys on stream. Take it easy, fellas. See you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.